my channel beyond the moon i am doing a peek at your person live tarot reading all right leo sun moon rising and venus if this does not resonate please check your other placements for messages there feel free to cross watch but don't force anything to fit okay it is a general reading and also leo stick around till the end i have a fun exciting announcement to make so leo i was meditating on your energy and i was feeling a little bit um confused um but excited so i feel like there's some kind of a change happening for you that's it's like you're trying to make the right decision both are attempting or, or the change is scary or there's something going on with that so but let's get into it all right your overall en energy here yeah we have what did i just say like never ending story Things going round and round, kind of stuck up in your head, um, re repeating thoughts or a situation. Um, go the distance, but you're like really wanting to have that change. So there's some confusion going on around that, um, but really wanting to put in the work and effort and have something go the distance. You do know what to do, Leo. You do. <coughs> Excuse me. Your intuition is kicking in. You have a deep knowing. You know what it is, but that confusion is there um being that fool taking that leap of faith making this change right oh and look at your person's overall energy round and round <laughs> and loyal heart so there could be some confusion here you're both kind of feeling this round and round energy but your leo energy here you're fierce you're going after it you're going for the long term and they have a loyal heart but underlying energy here, we have orphaned and time for a nap. So I feel like this could just be a temporary break or um, maybe you guys feel exhausted or there's something. It's like things aren't changing. You keep trying. False starts, false starts. Um, but let's get into it. All right, Leo, let's get into it. All right, current energies for Leo's person. Keep in mind, I say uh, energies for your person, Leo. They could be your energies, all right? So feel free to flip-flop and reverse um, as you see fit. But again, don't force anything. All right, what else? What's going on? Current energies for Leo's person. What's going on here? Ooh, Ten of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. All right, somebody walking away from a family uh, dynamic, uh, marriage, children, uh, house, home, loyalty, family. Who's walking away here? I feel like it might be you, but it could be your other person. This is their energy here. I feel like maybe your person walked away. Let's see what else could be you. I don't know. Current energies, please. What's going on for Leo? Six of Swords, moving on to calmer waters. Yeah, walking away from something. Some some choppy waters here. What else? Current energies for Leo's person. Truth, clarity, victory. Someone's after victory. Someone wants the truth, clarity. It's like feeling like someone had to walk away here in order to bring it into calmer waters. There could have been a lot of arguments, disputes, chaos, conflict, that kind of a thing going on. I don't know what is going on with the shuffling. That's how I feel your energy is, like just chaos, like all over the place. <laughs> Something's not making sense, but let's see. Let's see, what do we got? Yeah, it could have been a lot of fighting just to get victory and success. It's like you were planting seeds or your person was planting seeds and someone was holding back. Someone was either holding back or holding on too tight or, or something like that. Could be a family dynamic that got in the way of this, like different belief systems. It's like you guys were planting seeds, but you weren't watering and nurturing them for it to grow into something, for this to turn into victory and success. I feel like one of you may have and the other one wasn't really, like you weren't aligned. You were on different different pages. Let's see, what's blocking this connection? Blockages. Well, could have been a third party situation. Yeah, look, confusion. There's that confusion or options. 
not knowing what to do, who to choose, where to go. Hmm. Those blockages. Well, conflict. Inner conflict, or this could be arguing, disputes, one up, tit for tat. Too many people involved. Four of Swords, Ten of Cups, Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy, Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oof. There was definitely some kind of like stringing along or manipulation or sneaky behavior going on. Rushing in and out, love bombing, wishy-washy, actions don't match words. Confusion. Confusion. Feeling abandoned, feeling left out. I feel like, Leo, you were really willing to put in the work and effort here with this connection. Like, you wanted it to go the distance. You could be married to this person. You could have children with them. There's some kind of family dynamic here. That could even just be loyalty, you know? But I feel like there's, at some point, chaos broke loose. For some of you, it could have been a third party. For others of you, I don't know, I'm just seeing like this person could have been more about materialistic stuff. Like wanting status, being with somebody that like earns more money or is more well known in the community or some kind of status, materialistic something. Let's see, how does this person truly really feel about you? <clears throat> I feel like they're watching you. They're watching you. There could be an age difference between the two of you. And when I say watching you, they could be just looking you up on social media, seeing what you're up to. The hangs man, Pisces energy. Someone pulled their energy back to get a different perspective or to learn something here to research or to go within or to try and find something out or figure something out. How else do they feel about you? I feel like that could be you. I feel like maybe you pulled your energy back, Leo. Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment. They know you're going after what you want. I mean, Leo, that's what you do. Look at, there you are. You're in your energy. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, Six of Cups. Leo, there could be somebody from the past coming back around. Could be a Virgo, could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Or this is saying, like, you're reminiscing about the past or looking about, back on the past and wanting to make some kind of changes. It's like every relationship you get into, it's like a karmic. It's never ending. And now it's like you're trying to break those chains and you're trying to, like, find someone who's real, who's not going to abandon you, who's not going to string you along, who is going to value you, who is going to see, you know, put you on a pedestal and... Not break your heart. <laughs> Not break your heart. Or keep you feeling stuck. This person does think about you a lot. They do go back on like old memories, pictures. But I feel like they're thinking about you from the past. You're thinking about like... Why did I let this happen again? Why did I get myself stuck in a relationship like this again? Why? Why? You know, that repetitive pattern. All right, let's see. What's the potential outcome here? Potential outcome for Leo. Keep in mind, everyone has free will. You can change your mind. They can change theirs. So this is just a potential outcome. I'm not here to tell you what to do. Yeah, <laughs> Use your own judgment, all right, or discernment. All right, what's going on? Ace of Pentacles and Judgment, Scorpionic Energy. I feel like you're having maybe an epiphany, an aha moment, or making a very big decision here regarding stability. 
For some of you, there is the potential that this can be reconciled and be stronger than it was before, but let me keep going. What else for Leo? Ooh, you could have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming towards you. And I feel like that person, this water sign, possibly water sign, someone who definitely has a lot of emotions, I feel like they're going to give you back what you give to them. There's going to be equal give and take reciprocity. And I feel like you guys are going to be on the same page, work as a team, like have the same goals, desires, like be in alignment with each other. So that judgment card is throwing me off a little because most of the time I take it as a reconciliation. But this time I'm kind of taking it as like this wake up call or epiphany that you know what you need to do. Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords. Hmm. I feel like this this person is going to come towards you with an apology. But I feel like when they come towards you with an apology, you are immediately going to draw a sword. <laughs> Leo, All right. I feel like you're going to just be like, mm, you come to me, correct? We'll talk. If this apology is that same old apology is just an apology unless there's changed behavior right i feel like that's how they're approaching this they're gonna try and like wine and dine you and apologize or offer something to you and i feel like you're gonna immediately go from like your fiery fierce energy with a wand and a sword <laughs> ready to fight or ready for battle or they need to take you serious. You may also have options to choose from. You may have a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini to choose from. So you may have options. It's causing conflict, though. Like, you don't know which way to move or what to do. Hmm. For some of you, you are going to reconcile with this person, but they need to come to you correct. For others of you, you're not, and you're starting a new beginning with someone else, but you have options here. We also have the king and queen of pentacles on the board. So one of these options is your divine counterpart. It is your person. Who you're supposed to be with. The other ones are not. All right. What's the biggest obstacle for Leo? Biggest obstacle for Leo. Hmm. Traveling. So for some of you, you could live at a distance for this person. All right, the rebel and morally. So what is correct? How do you handle this the right way? How do you do this without being a rebel? <laughs> you know, um, there is a, a need, I feel, for travel, courage, sorrow, the outsider. So it's going to take strength and courage. Look at a breakthrough. There will be a breakthrough happening for you. There, this, that's the epiphany here. You're going to know what to do. This confusion is going to clear up. Because I feel like you, you just have options and you don't know what to do. What's the right one? All right, let's see. What else do we have for Leo? What else to 
clarify this. We'll get into that right after this. Quick. Thank you so much for sticking with me until this point in your reading. It is not over. I just wanted to make a real quick announcement. I am doing a 10K subscriber giveaway. A bunch of goodies are going to be given out, and I am so excited. I can't wait. Uh, one of them is an iPad Air and also crystals tarot decks, oracle decks, all that fun stuff. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button to help me circulate these videos. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. And let's get back right. into your reading. What do we have? Solitude, retreat, introspection, silence. Go deep within yourself. Yeah, pull your energy back, reflect. That's when you're going to know what to do. You're going to listen to your intuition. And maybe it is time for you to take a little time out from this chaos and confusion. All right, release. Yeah. Release. Loosen your hold. Relax and wind. Release fear, anxiety, and doubt. Transformation. A breakthrough. Remember I said breakthrough? Reinvention. You're ready for the next level. So there's going to be a major transformation here for you. A major transformation. A, a breakthrough for you. You're going to get what you want. You just got to choose wisely and really go within separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future, heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect, and the phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transform, growth, change mind. I don't know, some of you might get back together with this person. You might take them back. Some of you may not. I know you guys yell at me when I say... They're coming back, and you're like, no way, no how. We're Leo, Leo Nation. We don't take anybody back. Like, I get it. <laughs> Some of you might. <laughs> Just saying. Some of you might. Um, but if not, you do have options. So it is up to you. The ball is in your court, Leo. So, all right. That is what I have for you.